I'm Toby and this is Sea Life. Okay. So I just took a half inch wrench and the uh, 16 millimeter held that. But this wasn't all that tight. So I just popped it loose and started draining the oil. Popped it loose and then unscrewed it. But I need something that I can hold that bucket up there with. Because it's going to take a while for it to drain. Because uh, for some reason it's just trickling out. Probably because there's only about a quart, quart and a half in this thing. It's time to change the oil. Yeah, we actually went a little farther than... I've changed the oil. The sucker needs to clean. I've been looking online for a good blower that I can blow this, all this off in here with. Um, yep. I need, I need an air compressor on this thing more than I need a brush. Because I can hardly get the brush into all the little crevices. <laughs> Plus, I got to change the blade on it today too. So before we so get started, we're gonna be doing some maintenance before we get started here today, and uh, I'm so excited. If we hit a hundred subscribers today, I'm gonna do a cartwheel. I promise. So, <laughs> and in my next video. So, um. There's that. We're coming close to 100 subscribers, and so we're very excited. And uh, just want to say thank you for all your kindness, all of you uh, in our YouTube friends. So, yes. Also, guess what we're going to do with this used oil? <laughs> used oil. Yep. That's going to be how we, how we uh, stain, stain and protect preserve and Actually protect preserve. our wood. It's That's not really staining it, but it is staining it. But that isn't the intent. It's more preserving. Yep. And keep the bugs out of our wood. I need something to hold that up there with, sweetheart. Okay, so now I have to go looking. And a zip tie was the ingenious answer to holding this little bucket in place for the oil change. I've got borrowed the tractor again, and we're getting ready to raise up this little, uh, put, make some ingenious idea that will raise up the little edge on this shelter so we can roll this big log onto the mill. Just look at the pretty designs in that wood. And I was telling da Daniel, this, these little curvy spots, that'd make a great countertop if it was just a little wider. Yeah. Who knows? Just watch, we'll get down here. We'll get down here. That's a beautiful piece of wood. I said, this log is gonna require a little surgery with the chainsaw. It looks like. Right here at the front. I tell you, that tool right there sure does its, its share of work around here, too. That, uh, Tanker's bar, as they would call it in the military.